G'day viewers, uh, this is a video that has been waiting to be done and I should have done it a while back but as you know I've been through some stuff so I'm going to try and get a, get a start of it. Uh, I'm not a fan of making part videos but I'm going to have to in this case um, because of a few reasons. One of these boxes contains MLCCs, they're going to go on the back burner for just a little bit while I get some more experience. I've got my own little collection. Let's see if I can grab it and show you. Hang on. Oh. I've been keeping them myself, what I've collected. This is surprisingly heavy. This is almost a kilo, or at least it feels like about a kilo. So I'm going to practice on these. Um, as you know, my record with doing MLCCs is not so great. Something I'm just starting at. I'm not really familiar with it. So I'm going to try and get that done first, practice on these and before I start on his bag. It's for me, but I just don't want to muck it up on the video. Um, and also, in a couple of weeks' time, we could be moving house. Well, not could be, we will be moving house. So that's going to take up some of my time, as well as I'm still trying to fix my car. Uh, so I just it's going to take a, a while, and I'll do it in parts, but I, I'm going to unbox these show you what's in there and there is one box that I can start straight away I don't want to have too many solutions going while we're in the process of moving it's going to be hard I'd rather make sure there's nothing on the hot plate nothing being processed and to make the move a lot easier but uh, this shouldn't take very long the one that's in here that I'm going to start so I'll give you a look at what's in them this one here is I don't want to reveal the person's name um, I could be using the GoPro so I've got two hands but it doesn't matter. In here, I don't know what you call these things, um, I did know the name of them but I've since forgotten. Uh, oh, there's in quite a few bags in case they're spilt in transit so I'm going to open up the bags and show you. Okay so I've opened up, there's three other bags there. Uh, I really can't remember what they're called but I will find out before I end up posting the video and um, have the name on the video. I'm going to tip them out so you can see what these are. Hopefully there's an, a decent size one or hopefully I can zoom in close enough that you'll get an idea of what these are. I've seen them all the time on boards. I've never collected them. I didn't really think there was much in them. But my mate, but I should mention to you, the person who sent me all this is a buddy of mine in America. And he's been a really good supporter of my channel. He sent me quite a few things over the over the time, um, and I really appreciate everything he does for me. So I'll see if I can zoom in. There's some here that are a decent size. I can zoom in, but then it might not uh, focus. So we'll see. See if I can get this to focus. There we go. It's about the best I can get. So whatever those things are, I think there's some sort of resistor. Let's see if I can pick it up. There's a lot of other foreign matter in there, white foreign matter of some sort. I had a good picture of it just a second ago. There we go. So whatever these things are, now my buddy tells me that he saw in another video where they, were, they contained silver that's on the back now I don't know if they contain silver or not but it should be a fairly quick and easy video to do just boil it in some dilute nitric acid and within a day or two I should have a result but what I'll end up doing this is another reason why it'll be a part video is because rather than put hydrochloric acid or salt water and drop the silver into chloride which then has to be converted to precious metal or to elemental silver I'm going to put the solution into my silver jar with some copper pipe and have it re um, cement out as cemented uh, silver um, and that's going to take time so you'll get part of the video and then I'll follow on once it's uh, precipitated out as silver um, and melt it, that'll be the part two of this particular product. Um, 
and he also sent along two other things here one of them I assume he thought was a gold chain but it's actually just costume jewellery made by Avon I'm sure most of you are familiar with who Avon is but this chain if I can get it separated uh, one sec I'll do this from my two hands then Okay, so this is the chain that he assumed is probably gold. It, might have, it looked like it might have been gold, but it's just uh, costume jewellery. I'm going to return that to him, and I've also picked out some other things, just little knick-knack things, nothing special, but just some odd things that he wouldn't have to say thanks for all his support. So I'm waiting until I get a few more things together before I send that off to him. But this here is a silver chain. I've already looked at the markings and it's a sterling silver chain. So, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put that chain in with these to collect all the silver, or I might keep that aside in case I ever need to in court. And I do have a video coming up with some gold, so I may need it for in courting, so I might just hold on to it, but we'll see. Anyway, for now, I'm going to put all this in a beaker and go outside, put some dilute nitric acid in there and put it on the heat and see what silver we can get out. But before I do, I'll just show you this other box. Um, in that first box, he also sent some pay dirt. I'll need to hand down. Okay, so this is uh, again bagged up in several bags in case it first in, in, in uh, transit but I just want to mention in the other box he also put some pay dirt and I was really really excited to get some American gold because there's no other way I'm going to get it I'll never be able to go to America however customs stopped it um, I don't know how other people managed to post pay dirt across the internet across the world um, but I, as, a, as a tip for you guys, this is something I do because I'm not very trusting of the postal people. I mean, they're just human and you know, everyone has hard times. And the way I figure it is if, if someone sees anything to do with gold, they might go, oh, I'll take that. Stuff goes missing in the post all the time. If I ever send gold or silver buttons or whatever through the post, I just put it as a metal button. I don't say gold or silver and with this person putting pay dirt they might know that that means it contains gold so I personally would have suggested if I'd known that he puts metal fragments or um, metal filings, metal dust something like that or even I don't know there's plenty of things without mentioning pay dirt or gold or silver that people are going to go oh that's going to be worth a bit and I'll keep that you know, yeah okay most of the postal workers are good I'm not saying they're all thieves but there's got to be one or two that are you know, everyone's having a really hard time right now with the way things are and I'm just very suspicious of any people who have access to things that no one would know if, if they took it you know uh, anyway, it's enough rambling. This is the second bag, the second box that I opened up. And again, this is in several bags, but basically, and it, no need to pull it out to show you now, it's just all MLCCs, the whole bag. And I think there's a pound or half a kilo. It, might have, it feels to me like a kilo. I say there's probably a couple of pounds there. It's quite heavy. Uh, I'll look in the box and see what it says. Uh, uh, can't find it on there. It's supposed to say the weight. I haven't got my, I've got my glasses on. Hang on. But it's getting old. Sucks. I'll tell you what. I never used to need glasses. I used to have 20-20 vision. Uh, it just says quantity one, and then where it says weight, there's no uh, no figure. Doesn't say. So I'm guessing that's a kilo or two pound. Anyway, so like I said, that's going to go aside. I'm going to work on that later. Um, um, so now we're just going to get started on this. All right, so I'll cut it here. I'll go outside. I'll put it in the beaker and 
we'll carry on. So I've got some distilled water in there. It's gone purple straight away. Not sure why. And now I'm putting some nitric acid in there. I might as well just use up what's left in the bottle. It'll take a bit, a fair bit, I do believe. And uh, you see, there's already a reaction before it's even heated up. I've just turned the hot plate on, but it hasn't even heated up yet. So it's a pretty good reaction. And I'm going to put a lid on it and let it boil for a while. Once the reaction dies down, I'll put a little bit more nitric and see if it resumes the reaction. And if it doesn't, then I'll know that I've done enough. If the reaction starts up again, I'll know that it needs more nitric and it needs more time. The solution uh, stopped reacting and I put some more nitric in there, just a little bit more, probably half a mil or so, and there was still no reaction, so I'd say it's completely finished. Uh, I've turned it off, let it cool down, so now I'm going to filter it. I rinsed these out, there's no colour left in the water, I've poured it all into here for now, so I can go through the filter. I kept putting water in here until there's no more colour. So now I can discard these. I filtered this three times to make sure all the sediment was out. It was a darker green before, and now it was, it actually went lighter, um, but the last filter through went dark again. So I don't know, there's a little bit of sediment on top. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna filter it again though. So now it's time to find out if there's any silver in there. So, I've got my little beaker here. I'm going to take a sample. Well, I had some hydrochloric acid in that and there's already a reaction, as you can see. I was using hydrochloric acid for some gold and there was obviously a little bit left in the, in the pipette, so clearly there's silver in there. But just for the sake of it, we'll do the test. Okay, so you can see it's all gone cloudy. There's definitely silver in there. Nice. Now what I'm going to do, instead of pouring hydrochloric acid in to drop the silver, or salt water, which would also work, um, that would also mean, if I did it that way, that I would need to convert it to elemental silver by using lion sugar. And I don't believe it's worth it. I think silver is so cheap, it costs more with, with um, lion sugar to actually do that and the time and effort it takes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it into a glam jar which I bought and put some copper in there and drop it that way. And then I don't have to convert it. Now I've got these jars, nice big silver jars, I'm going to use for my silver and got a good strong lid on it. I've got two of those this size and another one about half the size for $10 from a garage sale. Now these are big jars, I don't know if the, the video is doing justice, these are really big. So I'm going to pour the solution into there. You should start seeing the copper discolour straight away. See how it's already discoloured? That's silver falling out straight away. So I'm going to rinse the speaker out and um, put it into there because it's got sediment now from the hydrochloric acid and uh, let that sit and recover the silver that way. And then once I've done that, we'll rinse it and weigh it and see what we got. Now, I know some of you guys like to know uh, weights to start with so you can work out yields. I wasn't even thinking about that, so I apologise for that. The whole idea of this video was to find out was there actually any silver in those things. And so we've proven, yes, there is. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do a weight to start with. But... Uh, I'll get this rinsed off and get it started. Alright, so it's all rinsed off and it's in there now, it's just waiting. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe a day or two. And uh, we'll see what we get from it. It's not going to matter one bit if the solution is dirty 
because um, I'm going to melt it into shot and use it for my silver cell anyway. Um, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, anything else that's in there will be collected once the silver shot has gone through the silver cell. So it's just a waiting game now. I had that solution in the jar with the copper in there for three days and then I tested the solution to see if there's any more silver in there and there's not. So I, I tipped it into this beaker uh, to make it easier for cleaning because it's a bit hard to clean it in the jar. So now I've got to pour off this solution and then wash the silver powder down there with boiling water. That green is the same colour, or as far as I'm aware, of palladium in solution. And I'm surprised because any precious metal should have fallen out on the copper. Um, I'm just going to put that in my stock pot. If there is anything in there, it'll come out in my stock pot. So now I'm going to pour that off get some boiling water happening and wash that until all the colour comes out of it until it rinses clean and then I'll show you the next step okay I've rinsed the powder about nine times and I was going to show the next step in purifying silver powder but I'll wait for I'll do that on a video all of its own because this doesn't really need to be purified, it's going to go through my silver cell anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour off the solution um, and dry the powder. And then um, once it's dried, I'll melt it into shot so it can go in my silver cell. Alright, so you've probably realised by now that I haven't done this in two parts. Um, uh, this is going to confuse some of you, so let me try and explain. I've just moved house and I started filming this before I moved. I had planned on having this finished before I moved, but that wasn't the case. I also planned on having this released, uh, uploaded before the last silver video that I posted, but that didn't happen. So, uh, just in case you guys are wondering and trying to catch up, understand what's going on. Basically what I did was I dried the silver powder and put it in a filter and it looks quite nice. It's not purified like in the last video. It doesn't need to be purified. Um, there's a nice amount there. No point in weighing it and getting a total because I didn't weigh the start anyway. Um, I'm, I'm just unpacking everything at my new house. I'm um, just setting up a table that I can use temporarily until I get something sorted. Uh, it's been absolute chaos. I'll give you an idea. Everything was just dumped in the carport. And this is what I've got to look forward to. I'm trying to unpack the whole... Everything was just dumped. So... Uh, it's just a shambles um, so basically the only thing to do now would be to melt the silver powder into shot um, I would have liked to have done that for this video but as you can see I've unpacked or well, got everything out that was packed and I cannot find for the life of me uh, my borax these milk dishes have all been washed, boiled in hydrochloric acid because the hydrochloric acid won't dissolve any silver that may be on these. This one, pretty manky, this hasn't been washed. This is uh, an, uh, an attempt to do palladium and uh, I'm just gonna keep this one for palladium. I'm not even gonna try and wash that. But these two here have both been boiled in hydrochloric acid. Although it doesn't look it, um, it actually removed all the silver that was on there. And uh, there's nothing rough on there anymore. There's just stains. So they need to be seasoned with 
borax before I can melt this powder. This isn't a melt dish, this is just a um, ceramic bowl. So without being able to find my borax and being able to season my dishes, I can't melt that. And I can't go down the road and buy some borax because my girlfriend and I have been diagnosed positive for COVID, which I would not wish on my worst enemy. I have, I'm surprised I've even been able to talk this long without coughing my guts up. I'm getting over it now, I'm pretty much at the tail end of it, but oh my god, it was a wild ride. Um, so basically, I'm just showing you the powder, there's a nice chunk of it, I've got a pretty good filter full of silver from those resistors, so they do in fact contain silver, which was the whole idea of this video, to find out if they actually do have silver or not. So I've achieved what I set out to do. Uh, sorry I can't melt it and show you the shot because, like I said, can't, can't clean those, can't glaze them. Um, we're spending the next few days trying to find the borax, or unless I can get someone to buy it and drop it off at my front door. Uh, in fact, I don't, even, I don't even know where my mat, mat, mat gas torch is. And my oxypropane system is somewhere in the carport and you've seen what that looks like so i'm gonna to have to call this here um hope you guys liked what you've seen uh sorry if you're confused because the other one was released before this one and i think in the footage somewhere earlier i've talked about how i'm going to make a video on refining silver when i've actually already posted it uh it just worked out this way unfortunately um, I'm not really uh, full of energy with this COVID, uh, but I will try and get around to getting some more videos out pretty quick. Uh, at this new place, I don't want to have too many fumes under the car patio roof. The last place I was at, all the roof was rusted from all the fumes. Um, even though I'm in a well-ventilated area, like this patio here, you can see it's a large patio. Um, this is just shade cloth, the breeze comes through. It's quite windy where I am right now, but I'm just not gonna risk it. So the only thing I'm gonna do under here is like boil um, solutions or you know, in water or hydrochloric acid, but I'm not gonna have any nitric fumes or aquarigia fumes under here. I'll only be doing things like that on a day where it's uh, not raining and I'll go out into the backyard with a, a little table or something and set it up in the middle of the backyard and do it because uh, we want a good rating at this house so uh, yeah I've got some gold some gold jewelry that I'm going to be processing um, as soon as I can get around to it guys I am as crook as a dog um, so just please bear with me and uh, I'll get more videos out to you soon. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. Uh, I love the comments you guys leave. Um, there's not too many people actually clicking the like button, and I would really appreciate it if you could. It helps with the analytics, helps YouTube know who likes my channel and so on. So if you don't mind, please just whack in that like button. Hit it hard. Hit it with a hammer. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.